What is going on everybody, it's Coochies here today and I am bringing you a how to get better in CSGO video or tips to get better. Um, you might say, oh you're only going over three, why should I listen to you? Uh, this isn't a video on how to get global elite. I mean, it's it's that's going to take years and years of practice. Um, so just don't, don't even regard this. I mean, this is a pretty decent rank considering I've only played for two months. And so let's get right into the video. Okay, so tip number one is to not move left and right while you're shooting. Now, some shots may hit on point, but as you can see, when I'm shooting, that they're going all over the place. Now, you might say, oh, I've seen competitive matches where it looks like they're going back and forth. It looks like they are, but while they're going back and forth, they're stopping at like the very, or they're shooting at the very second they stop. It's it's so precise that you're not going to be able to like actually see it, and so they're actually stopping. So don't say, oh, well, pros do it, so why can't I? Uh, it's just not. They they stop at a very um, fast pace, and then shoot uh, at the second millisecond they stop, and then that's how they that's how they hit their targets while moving left and right. Okay, so tip number two is to download a workshop called Recoil Master Weapon Practice. Now, um, it show, you can pick any gun that's in the game and it shows you its recoil pattern. And so you can stand right here, you can put show impact so when you shoot it shows exactly where you hit. And uh, make sure you cut on ghost hair because it will show you where to shoot with each shot and to follow that the entire way and doing this will help uh, your spray pattern a lot now like I said I'm only a golden over three so my spray pattern obviously isn't going to be perfected I have a lot of work to do with that and I plan and I do this every day before I get on a match or start playing competitive I do this and I do other workshops that I'll show you later on in the video but this really helps because spray patterns are huge like you're not gonna especially if you're not ranked yet or silver it's gonna you're most likely your aim is not gonna be good enough to just one tap everybody you see so learning how to spray or learning the spray pattern is really important for your just uh, your skill level and how well you're gonna be able to kill opponents this workshop also includes you can add T targets so when you're shooting uh, T's it'll actually show you um, like where you hit them if you hit them in the head chest stomach or legs and this will definitely help because this green dot isn't like perfect it's not gonna give you like the 100 percent correct recoil pattern like it's a little bit off um, but for the most part as a lower rank it's definitely gonna help next we have crashes crosshair generated now having a custom crosshair is super important at least to me because most likely the crosshair you start off with you're not going to like it's going to be really annoying and you're not going to like how when you move it goes wide and when you shoot it goes wide now, i cut i have mine where it's off which is crosshair style four it doesn't uh, expand when you walk and it doesn't expand when you shoot now say you like a uh, one of these pro players you can choose these let's do snacks for sure oh, let's do pasha and say you kind of do want it to move when you shoot and you can kind of tell it does move a little bit when you shoot say you don't want that uh, or say you do want that too but you also want to expand when you move so just so you can see that when you're moving that you're not going to be as accurate which i will show you with this see see how much bigger it gets when i have an ar so when you're moving, it's just going to go all over the place. Now, you might just automatically know this, so you just don't want it. Um, and you should, like I said in the first tip, you shouldn't be moving any, any direction really, uh, especially left and right while shooting. But say you like this type, it, should, it has like a nice size where you can put somebody's head in it. And, um, but it does move up and down, so. And you can practice. Uh, how much you like to cross there. Now you, sum up, you might like more than those, you can practice your um, spray pattern on this wall and you'll see it. And so you can just keep going through different ones to see which one you like and you can also change the color of it. Now I prefer green because it is a fact that your eye sees more shades of green than any other color and this works well on any map. Um, and you can test out how well you can see on each map with this. 
Personally, I like green. I can see it perfectly on every map, like even while looking at the sky or something. Um, certain colors like this, you might not be able to see perfectly. This is like say over just red signs or something like that. Say you're standing over here, you can't really see too well, etc., etc. I choose green. It's my favorite crosshair color. And you can just go through every map and see which color suits your needs. And lastly, um, after you find your perfect crosshair, by you can change the outlines, the gap, the thickness, the size by going smaller if you just want a little dot, or if you want to go huge and you want to help your uh, spray pattern, it doesn't matter. But after you find your perfect one, you can save it. And then say something messes up for some reason, you can load it back by hitting the same one. Now, make sure if you have multiple crosshairs, you don't accidentally try to save one or load one by saving one that you don't like because then you'll mess it up and you'll have to try to get the perfect one all back over again. Okay, so my fourth tip is to always, 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 always check your corners. I don't think anybody in the CS community can stress this enough. Checking your corners is everything. Say you, you're T sign playing comp and somebody decides to smoke off the entrance or just they smoke off all of this for some reason. And you can't see anything, so your team waits out here, they're watching mid, and somebody ends up getting behind this door. Now, more than likely, if you're just starting out, you're not used to checking corners. So you're just gonna walk through and say your whole team walks through and nobody checks this corner. And that's it's so easy. All they have to do is just spray down. Even if their spray pattern or spray control is absolutely terrible, they just have to spray, spray, spray. Most likely, if they don't kill everybody, <clears throat> then uh, they're gonna hurt a lot of people and kill most. I mean, it's just, you can't stress this enough. Somebody could be sitting over here if you're pushing long and if your whole team is just pushing out and they just hit book, book it straight for long then you're you're gonna either they're not gonna shoot and they're gonna wait for you to push up they're gonna call it to the team the teammates the teammates are gonna be waiting all up here down ct with an op maybe depending on what round it is op up there or op just watching long and they're gonna kill everybody so if this person back here doesn't end up shooting then I mean either way you're gonna die and uh, one big thing um, if you're pushing along this isn't really a long tutorial but make sure you check this corner it's a huge corner people like to sit at sit in this corner pop flash it out and if they pop flash I mean you can't really do anything but uh, it's just huge check corners check corners can't check corners can't stress that enough all right so my last and final tip for today is is this practice map that helps your aim and reflexes now you're gonna see there's just gonna be random little heads you just have to kill one and then they're all start moving now you can use this map for, to practice your spray or to try to get as many one taps as you can uh, it's just huge to do before you play comp because to get your muscle memory back so you haven't played all day and everybody knows your first game on most likely isn't going to be your greatest unless you're just having a good game <coughs> So doing this is going to dramatically improve your first game by far. It'll, it'll help your spray pattern, it'll help your one taps uh, uh, the more you practice. There's nothing else more to say, it's just a great map if, you, if you, you're just getting on, you want to warm up your muscle memory, practice your spray pattern, practice your one tap. And if you stay in the middle and don't move, they can't knife you. But say you get close and then they'll start knifing you down, so just make sure you stay in the middle. You can buy any gun. Um, on T side, that for some reason, I mean on CT, because whenever I spawn T side for some reason, I spawn like outside of there, so I don't really know what's up with that. Um, and I spawn with AK, so just use whatever gun you want. You'll spawn with AK even if you choose CT, and that's probably the, uh, one of the hardest rate patterns. That and then for obviously oh, two main ARs. Sweet. So this has been it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to uh, follow these tips. Do them daily, especially the training maps. And uh, try to find the perfect crosshair. That's going to be big and how good you do. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.